Now we all know what it is and practically what it does, but have you actually ever seen a block heater before? And to be honest, I didn't until yesterday either. And this is a block heater. Yeah, this little thing. I had no idea. I thought it was like a car battery size thing that warms up your battery. I don't know why I thought that. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but it gets cold here, like really cold, like cold, cold. Like freeze your face off minus 40, colder than Mars kind of cold. And it sounds pretty stupid and ridiculous, but literally plugging in your car is probably the best thing you can do to fight that. My eyelashes, they're icing up. Ah! So what a block heater does is that this tip here, it's pretty much like a coil and it provides a constant low heat to your engine so that when you start it when it's cold outside, it doesn't have to work as hard to warm up. Now, I've also heard these excuses. Oh, I just got a new battery. I just got a new car. I don't need to plug it in. Yeah, your car might start, but off a cold start, you're gonna get a lot more wear and tear and you're gonna end up using more gas as opposed to if it was plugged in. So I got a little demonstration for you here. So in this cup, this is engine oil. This has been sitting inside and it's about room temperature. So when I pour it out, you can see how easily that flows out. That's gonna move pretty freely throughout your engine. It's gonna lubricate everything. Now this, this is engine oil that's been sitting outside for the last six hours. Let's find out what the temperature is outside. Siri, what's the temperature right now? It is minus 25 degrees outside. Okay, so it's about minus 25, give or take five degrees wind chill. It's about minus 30. Out. And when I pour this out, you can see how thick that is and how slowly it's moving. That's not gonna lubricate your engine when it's this cold outside. So all those metal parts that are working inside your engine, they're gonna grind together. And that's gonna provide a lot more wear and tear on your engine when it's this cold out. Now I know it's not good to leave your car running for 10, 15 minutes, but to be honest, I think you're crazy if you don't warm up your car when it's minus 40. Now when your engine's already warm from your block heater being plugged in, it's gonna use less gas when it's idling and it's actually gonna heat up your cab a lot faster so you don't have to idle as long as well. So there's actually a couple things to consider about your block heater as well. Number one, think of it like a stovetop element. If you leave it on for 10 hours a night for seven days a week, it's not only gonna jack up your hydro bill, it's also gonna wear it out a lot faster, you're gonna have to replace it. And to be quite frank, it's really not good for your engine to be exposed to that heat for that amount of time. So the best thing to do to combat that is to buy one of these. It's a block heater timer. And all you do, it costs about $20 at Canadian Tire. You plug it in, to your block heater cord. You set what time you want your block heater to start at, and it'll start at that time. So you'll save a little bit money on your hydro bill, your engine's gonna be warm, and you won't be exposing it to that heat for that amount of time. Now, most manufacturers recommend you only plug in your car when it dips below minus 15. Now, not everywhere in the world gets that cold, so when you're shopping for a new car, especially imports, make sure it actually comes with a block heater, because you're probably gonna have to end up buying one anyway. Dropping some block heater knowledge on you. Boom. <laughs>